So in my last video, I give you two tips to raise your FRQ scores in less than a week. And today we're going to do the same thing with the multiple choice section. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss my two upcoming exam review live streams. Now, the good news is that from a content standpoint, the APES exam is about as straightforward as it gets. The questions aren't really designed to trick you or test obscure concepts that you barely learn. I mean, there's a reason that ChatGPT did better on the APES exam than any other standardized test it was given. But there is some bad news that I'm going to get to in a second. First, though, we need to talk about how to actually study so that you don't spend hours this week cramming and have all that information go in one year and out the other. And please, whatever you do, do not just reread your notes or flip through Quizlet flashcards or watch these YouTube videos on two times speed and then call it good. Cognitive scientists are very clear about this one. The most effective way to remember content for any exam is through active recall or retrieval practice. That means watching review videos or briefly reviewing your notes or slides or some other source of information and then actively trying to recall that content from your memory by answering open-ended questions about it or rewriting it in your own words. And I can't can't stress enough how important this active recall component is to your study process. You're the results of a large study on how poorly middle schoolers recalled history content when all they did was review it once by rereading their notes. But check out how much more of the information on their test they were able to remember when they used active recall even just once. And now for the bad news. There is a lot of content to review for the APES exam like 99 topics, 300 plus vocab terms, a lot. Luckily, there is a way that you can review every single topic covered in the exam in just over five hours and practicing recalling all of that content in about 10 hours, and that's the ultimate review packet. It has review videos that cover every topic on the exam and open-ended study guide questions designed specifically to get you to actively recall the concepts you need to know. And of course, there are answer keys so you can check your recall and review topics that you're struggling with. Now, I can't promise that this is gonna get you a four or a five since this is an exam that covers a year's worth of content, but I can promise you that it will expose you to all of the information covered on that exam at least once and give you a chance to practice recalling that content. Don't worry though, if you don't want to pay for review resources, you can totally still use Active Recall. It just might take you a little bit longer and you might not get through all 99 topics. And if you're using the videos on my YouTube channel or the videos on AP Classroom or your notes or the slides linked in the video description below, then I'd really recommend taking a practice exam first so you can figure out which units you struggle with the most and focus on those. And if you don't have access to a practice exam or you don't have the time to take one, then I would recommend prioritizing units 9 and and six since they're worth 30 to 35 percent in the exam and they also cover concepts from other units like seven eight and two just remember that however you choose to review you should stop after each topic or concept and force yourself to actively recall that content that you just went over now you can do this with open-ended questions like released exam frqs from the college board or you can just give yourself brain dump quizzes where you try to recall everything you can and summarize it in your own words all right ape scholars that's it for my multiple choice exam advice today if you want to start practicing some active recall with unit one click right here to check out the apes ultimate review packet or if you want to see how you can quickly raise your frq scores in less than a week click right here but wherever you click next make sure that you always remember to think like a mountain and write like a scholar